Welcome to Immune System Wrap Part 2. Now we'll learn what the specific responses can do when innate defenses start to be breached. Antibodies and killer T cells are unleashed. The specific response has three distinct components. Recognize, overcome, remember your opponent. It's acquired, adapted, and proven over time. It lets you be pathogens, it keeps you in your prime. The cells that carry out specific immunity are known as lymphocytes, they go by letters B and T. They're often found in lymph nodes, your body's fluid filters. You feel them get swollen when your system gets off kilter. These specific responses are a vertebrate feature, not found in bugs or worms or any backbone-lacking creature. The response is elicited by what's called an antigen, a portion of a molecule on an invading pathogen. Antigen means antibody generator, polysaccharides are proteins on the cells of an invader. Antibodies are proteins, be lymphocytes secrete, to bind with unique antigens and lead them to defeat. Both B's and T's can recognize specific pathogens through receptors on their membranes that bind with antigens. A B cell receptor is made of four polypeptide chains, which forms a kind of wire. The stem is stuck into the membrane. Two other chains are heavy, two other chains are light. The two tips of the Y form the antigen binding site. Activated B cells secrete their receptors as antibodies. They are system's number one protector. Random recombining within B and T receptor genes generates amazing receptor shape diversity. The staggering assortment of B and T receptors lets us recognize specific invaders when they enter. T receptors are quite different, but their function is the same. They combine with almost any antigen that can be named. They're just two chains, and right at their tip is the specific shape that binds invaders in their grip. T cells come in two main varieties. The helper T's the general in the immune system army, and cytotoxic killer T cells, they're assassins. They kill a zombie cells controlled by viral pathogens. It's the immune system, sworn to protect you from dangerous pathogens. They'll try to infect you. Three layers of defense keep the germs away. Let us live yet another day. Skin and mucous membranes first, then innate defenses For fending off invaders that breach our fences Then specific responses with lymphocytes B and T Let's learn about immunity Let's examine how our B cells respond to an infection. The big picture here is called clonal selection. A B cell receptor binds an antigen with matching shape. This activates the B cell, which divides and makes. A clone of plasma cells, whose job is to secrete antibodies for that specific antigen they'll meet. Antibody action through our body fluids. It's called humoral. We'll see below the waist. It sends invaders to their funerals. B cell activation starts from phagocytic cells, dendritic cells, and macrophages, all these sentinels. Devour a pathogen to break it down. Then hold it up as antigen, show them what they found. The antigens displayed on a special protein, part of a family called MHC. MHC is for a major histocompatibility complex. It's used to say, this is me, I'm on your team, and here's a little something that's trying to infect us. We gotta do something, or this'll be the end of us. Our phagocytic sentinels use MHC class 2. And holding up the antigen, they make their move to lymph nodes where they bind with a helper T whose receptor is also complementary to the antigen that the phagocytes is playing. This is the connection for which we've been praying. The helper T grabs on with its CD4 protein, which connects antigen presenting cell and helper T, and now the two cells messages exchange, inducing the helper T to change. The messages are in the form of cytokine secreted proteins that are used to define other cells function and even their form. In this case, they induce a helper T swarm. Helper T clones itself into identical versions, each of which is the receptor for the antigen. These helper T's wait in a lympho till they find a B cell to whom the same antigen did bind. Which means both B and helper T have receptors that complement the shape of this antigen. Infecticide comes from helper T get B cell to start to vision. Makes a plasma cell army that's devoted to the mission of secreting antibodies 2000 per second per cell. These bind with antigens or pathogens would feel like hell was unleashed as antibodies act like a tag so that phagocytes can put those germs inside their bag. It's called opsonization, an antibody trick. Here's another antibody move that's pretty sick. By binding viral proteins, antibodies prevent viruses from binding to cells they might affect. Gumming up these viruses is neutralization, another immune system way of pathogen negation. Antibodies also boost the complement system. Infected cells and germs explode their antibody victims. The immune system sworn to protect you from dangerous pathogens. To try to infect you, three layers of defense keep the germs away. Let us live yet another day. Skin and mucous membranes first, then innate defenses. For fending off invaders that breach our fences, then specific responses with lymphocytes B and T. Let's learn about immunity. Killer T is an assassin, not to be underrated. The cited toxic killers do a cell mediated response. Like bees, killer T's need prior activation by a phagocytic cell that makes a presentation of antigen displayed in an MHC protein and often help a T's assist this activation scene. Once activated, killer T's clone themselves into a platoon that roams the body to bring about the doom of body cells with cancer 
or an infection. And here's how killer T's do target detection. Their T cell receptor binds with the antigen, held aloft by tissue cells which are infected. The antigen's held up in their class 1 MHC, the sickly tissue cells, saying, look what's inside of me. So killer T grabs hold of protein CD8 and then proceeds to assassinate the infected cell. It's a mercy killing using perforins for membrane drilling and granzymes to induce apoptosis. Infected cells die from these lethal doses. Remembering's the last step in immunity, allowing you to face repeat invaders with impunity. B and T memory cells are the trick that build up your immunity, keep you from getting sick. Every time your specific responses have a victory, there's not only effective cells, there's also cells from memory. These memory cells stay behind with their receptors, waiting to bind the same disease-causing vector. So in the next infection, you skip all the preliminaries. Go right to cloning plasma cells and even kill a tease. This mobilization means you'll bring germs to the knees. You'll wipe them out before you feel the symptoms of disease. That's why the first immune response you have is rather weak. You beat the pathogen, but mobilizing took you weeks. But the second response you have can really be fine. Many, many more antibodies made in much less time. And that's how vaccination works to keep away disease. Injecting harmless antigens to develop memory cells with receptors that detect and arm the specific immune response that keeps us from harm. It's the immune system sworn to protect you from dangerous pathogens that try to infect you. Three layers of defense keep the germs away. Letting us live yet another day. Skin and mucous membranes first, then innate defenses. For fending off invaders that breach our fences. Then specific responses with lymphocytes B and T. Let's learn about immunity. Hi, this is Mr. W. Thank you so much for watching Immune System Part 2. I hope you enjoyed it. Please head on over to sciencemusicvideos.com where you can find interactive exercises that will help you learn about the immune system or dozens of other topics in biology. There are audio versions available for both of these songs and I hope you'll consider buying them. And please consider supporting me by using the donate feature that's on my website or clicking that support button on my YouTube channel. So I'll see you over at sciencemusicvideos.com, but don't go away because here's my first ever publicly shared blooper. Ow! Oh, shit! Get out of it. Oh.